The Bonetide Automated System for Custom Data, which goes by the acronym ASICILA, is a customs management system for international trade and transportation operations in a modern automated environment. This software is designed and developed for customs administration and the trade community to comply with international standards when fulfilling imports, exports, and transit related procedures. Through this particular program, UNTAD aims at modernizing customs operations and helping to improve revenue collection, facilitation of trade, improving trade efficiencies and competitiveness by substantially reducing transaction time and costs, improving security by streamlining procedures of carbon control, transit of goods, and clearance of goods. Helping fight corruption by enhancing the transparency of transactions and promoting sustainable development by cutting down on the use of paper. The ASICILA program is today the largest technical cooperation program within Bhutan, and it is presently used in over 80 countries, among which are 58 less developed countries. Right here in the Caribbean, there are over 10 countries currently using the ASCIDA latest version, ASCIDA World. Haiti being the first user of the latest version of ASCIDA, where they established the system and used the system in 2004 as our pilot country. Since then, the ASCIDA World was followed by Dominica in the north, Anguilla, Turks and Caicos. Montserrat, Belize, St. Lucia, Trinidad and Tobago, Curacao, Bonaire, and most recently, Grenada. Grenada implementation, sorry, Grenada implemented the manifest model of the world on July 27, 2011. And as of 8.30 a.m. today, 43,099 shipments have been Processed on the system, of which 2,152 represent exports, 39,792 imports, 1,141 transit movement of cargo between local ports and inland transit ships. After the implementation of the manifest model in, in July of 2011, the Ascila World Project with the Customs Administration implemented the non commercial cargo carriage process on February 15 this year. Since then, 4,718 non commercial declarations have been processed on the Ascila World. My ability here today to report such up to date statistics. On Cargo Ferrell shows how one of the project's objectives of providing timely statistics through the implementation of access to the world has already been achieved. Ladies and gentlemen, Grenada has come through. Today, this format achievement shows a country with a people and government who understand the importance of implementing systems and providing infrastructure for this investment climate. Introducing ICTs in a customs administration has the potential for producing significant benefits to both the government and the private sector. Sometime about two weeks ago, the persons are responsible for the public from the World Bank at a brief discussion highlighted the need for the customs administration to push its agenda for establishing a transparent and trade facilitation program that will go beyond the shores of the world and in so doing, improving its investment climate. This, ladies and gentlemen, is not possible unless the customs admission has the support of all the stakeholders. I must say I was very impressed with the the efforts and the support of the AMC Port Authority for providing this lovely facility as part of its contribution to the whole 
process. The Customs Administration, through the words spoken by the Commissioner of Customs today, is instructively saying to its members of staff that the business climate of Grenada is heavily dependent on the way they approach the work, the level of professionalism that is being employed in the execution of their services. And in order to enhance this service, the department saw it fitting to introduce other components such as risk management, training risk management, uh, tactics in its, in its execution of its duties. Customer service training provided to all staff members are all part of the department's initiative to improve the way it do business with its uh, users. But importantly to note is that risk assessment, risk management is what makes one custom stand out over another. During the World Bank assessment, the WCO assessment of customs organization, one of the key things that has been is that the level of ICT is the the level of ICT being used in the process and the ability of the customs administration to apply risk management, risk tactics to its, its current process. I challenge today the customs administration to take this matter very seriously in order to ensure that the investment that is being made by the government we need today and other stakeholders is realized and the benefits are going to show based on the seriousness in which you you apply to this particular component. I would like to say also that The days ahead with the Aspila World Implementation Era is not one that will look at just the customs administration, but also other stakeholders, other government agencies like the Bureau of Standards, the Ministry of Agriculture, the Ministry of Health, the Port Authority, all of which has a role to play in our parents and the ports. The Aspila World System introduces a number of opportunities for such processes to be streamlined and to improve the efficiency at which all of the various agencies execute their duties. We had the opportunity to work with the Inland Revenue Department to ensure that there is consistency in the way we identify taxpayers in Grenada and for the purpose of the Inland Revenue Department.